The best come loaded with lots of games and activities and are sturdier than the ones for big kids or adults. Yeah, so Consumer Reports checked out a wide range of kids' tablets in the lab and then turned them over to the ultimate testers. Julie Broughton has the reviews. That was about the last noise we heard from these kids at Consumer Reports once they got their hands on the current batch of tablets. But the children weren't the only ones trying them out. Consumer Reports experts put over a dozen kids' tablets through a series of tests, checking their responsiveness, screen quality, readability, and battery life. And when it comes to kids, durability is key. Meet the tumbler. This machine replicates falls from almost three feet. Two tablets failed the tumbling test, the school zone Little Scholar Learning Tablet and the Isabella Products Fable. Even worse, the Fable failed this five-year-old who was frustrated trying to use a screen that Consumer Reports found hard to swipe. Here's what the kids liked about some of the tablets. It doesn't take a long time to load. Well, it had like all these games. There's also like this uh, food one that I really like. In the end, the KD Interactive Curio Smart for $200 topped Consumer Reports ratings. It has a very good, easy to use screen. It is one of the most responsive tablets tested and comes loaded with several fun motion sensor games. The Curio Smart runs on a Windows operating system, useful if your child is transitioning to a Windows computer for schoolwork. And Consumer Reports named two Amazon Fire tablets best buys. The regular grown up version is $50, or you can opt for this $100 kid version. It comes Comes with a bumper and is loaded with a year subscription of kid friendly content. Both have nine hours of battery life and both survived the tumbler.